Okay, so this is the video that is going to focus on motion paths. Now in Maya, what a motion path is, is literally just a line that you draw and you can get objects to follow it over a set period of time. And that's what we're going to use to get this plane to fly around an environment. So in order to do that, I'm going to change my view because I want to get um, a flat line to start off with. So I'm just going to change into my fore view and I'm going to go into my top view. Okay, and I'm just going to zoom out quite a lot because I want this plane to fly around quite a big environment and I'm going to turn the grid off so I can actually kind of see where the plane is. And then we need to draw a curve. So to do that, I'm going to go to create and then it's the CV curve tool. Select that. And the way this works is you just click for each point that you want and then Maya interpolates between them and it creates quite a smooth curve. So I'm going to imagine that I'm flying around my environment. So I'm going to start kind of here. And I'm just going to click every so often. The further apart your points are, the smoother the curve will be. So I'm going to allow it to do this. It's going to curve it on itself here so that I can get it to turn both left and right like this. Lovely. And I'm not trying to do anything too clever and it can end somewhere near where it started. When you've got a curve that you're fairly happy with, you can hit enter on your keyboard like so and you've got a completed curve. Fantastic. Um, what we're going to do with this curve next is just kind of add a few kind of up and down bits just to add a little bit more variety to it. So I'm going to go back into my perspective view for this. Press A on the keyboard so I can see the whole uh, the whole curve. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose, uh, I think I'm going to go with control vertex. And I'm just going to choose some of the control vertices um, every so often. And I'm just going to either raise them up or drop a few down. And it's just going to add a little bit more variety to this. I'm not going to go over the top with this. Uh, but I am going to just try and get a little bit more variety by just adding ups and downs in places. Now this is kind of an optional step, you don't have to do this, uh, but it will make, make it a bit more interesting. Okay, so if I now look at this side on, you can see that it's not completely flat all the way, there are kind of changes in altitude as well. Okay, so we're going to leave that one there for this video. So we've drawn our motion path out and hopefully we're kind of happy with it. Uh, I'm going to go back into object mode on the curve and it's in the next video that we'll have a look at how you attach the plane to the motion path and get it to um, follow it around. Okay, so I will see you in the next video for that one.